Now, if you are familiar with H3, uh, the H3 podcast, it's a big, mm, certainly bigger than, I think he's got more subs than Tim Pool. So he's definitely not a farm league podcast. I had no idea that Myron was even talking about this guy. I'm only, like I said, I'm only peripherally aware of the dude because I think he was talking shit about Michaela Peterson at some point. Maybe somebody, it may, might have come up in my my Twitter feed. I, I I don't know who the dude, honestly, I have no clue who this guy was until like Myron made a big deal out of him and said, Hey, you want to go on this guy's podcast? And he really wanted me to go with him. And it's in Los Angeles. So it's not too far from where I'm at. I mean, probably be there in like, you know, it was a quick flight down from Reno. <clears throat> and, um, and I'm like, Oh, sure. I would love to do that. I think I, I mentioned something about it. Um, on my last show or my last interview on fresh and fit, which was back in actually beginning of this month. Um, and I said, it will be a great day when Myron and myself can actually go on the same podcast and, and sort of go head to head with whoever. Right. Because I mentioned that because I'm Rolo and because I'm a white guy, I can only go certain places. And because Myron is Myron and he's a red pill guy and he's in the black manosphere, he's going to get calls from people that I'm not going to get and vice versa, I should say. So it's not just, it's not a race thing. It's just, you know, those are our spheres. That's where we run. Mike Rashid is not going to call Rolo Tomasi, but Myron Gaines is going to go on his show and pretty much talk about the same thing I would have talked about anyway. So that's fine. Uh, then, you know, Myron and Fresh are going to get the call to go on Flagrant. They're going to get the call to go on t uh, Tim Pool. I think we're still waiting on that Rogan phone call. Call me, Joe. Um, and so there's places that, I'm, like, for instance, I went on Patrick Bed David. I went on Adam Sosnick. And so did Myron and Fresh, right? We weren't there together, but we were there, you know, individually. And I'm always happy to cross pollinate. I'm always happy to say, hey, here's a here's a network. Here's a guy. Talk to this dude. I brought Adam Sosnick into the studio on the Tuesday. I did the, the Patrick Bed David show just because it happened to be convenient. And he lives in Brickle, not Brickell, Brickell. Um, and and it worked out and, and they hit it off and as I knew they would. And then they a week later, they went on Adam's show and that was fantastic. I thought it was a really great show. In fact, I thought it was one of the best interviews or best not interview, but the best talk show I had ever seen Myron and Fresh on because they weren't on the back foot. They weren't in there to go like, they weren't like a price. I'll go in the ring and start duking it out. Like it was just like, here, let's have a, let's have a conversation. And I think Adam's a really good interviewer and he's a really good personality when it comes to podcasts and stuff. But you know, that's the, that's the, that's the deal, right? Well, when we get the call from, or when Myron, anyways, gets the call from H3 and Ethan Klein, uh, things are a little bit different. And by different, I mean in this. Uh, let's see if I can grab that. Where did it go? Is this it? Why, well, yes, it is. Here we go. Oh, damn it. Hang on. It's the wrong codec. I wonder if I can just throw this up there. Ah, anyway, yeah, let me see. Maybe you can you just you only need to hear this anyway. So let's see. So we need to have Rolo Tomasi on. I call him Rolo Tony Browntown because of that Tim and Eric song. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> I think so. She said it will just be predominantly Myron. Is that the the main guy? Which one's Myron? Which one's Myron? I just know him as fresh and fit. Yeah, which Myron, I believe yeah, he's the he's the main guy. He's not coconuts and Barbados. He is not. No, he is. Uh, no, he's the other guy. Myron Gaines. <laughs> Gaines. <laughs> it will be predominantly uh, Myron and Rolo doing the talking. We think it will make for a good discussion between Ethan and his son. So he's he's once again icing out the, his dumbass <laughs> partner who I keep being like, why is this guy even hosting a show? His brain barely operates. Dude's talking about coconuts and barbitas. And now when it comes to debating us two on two, our show, The Leftovers, versus their show, Fresh and Fit, he's icing out his homie again in favor of this guy, Rolo Tony, who we did some ops on. And apparently he's like the, quote, father of Red Pill. Sick. The problem is I don't know anything about Rolo Tony, and I just don't care about him. Nobody cares. Nobody wants to talk to Rolo Tony. I won't talk to Fresh and Fit. They're they're the guys. <laughs> it's just so absurd. Rolo Come Tony on, Brown Town. You know you got to give me some more. <laughs> I don't know why I always love that song. It's great. Tim and Eric made a, a pitch to Rolo's as a bit. 
Uh, Rollo Tony <laughs> Brown Town. <laughs> Give me some more of those Rollos. Uh, I passed this along to Ian. Wait, so I just I told Ian to tell him if you don't want to debate, just say so. Because it's like, how many conditions? Just call into the fucking show. I think he would prefer to have a discussion with just you two since that was the clip that you two started. Yeah, two verse two. We are happy to debate. By the way, and this is the guy who just last week was like, stop ducking me, bro. Have us on. All right, so that's, and this is the dude, right? Now, I get it. I get his brand, right? I get why he's doing what he's doing. He's just sort of this fat, obnoxious, you know, piece of shit that yeah, I, I don't know a lot of these guys there's a lot of dudes that <laughs> is that jordan peterson on his desk right there there's a lot of dudes that sort of fumble into their their niche and uh, i get the feeling that that's where that's where ethan is at now uh i think so uh what did you say uh wait 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 wait. let me back up a little bit because infamous rifle asked me he said isn't he the dude that said he was like in better shape than, than uh, joe rogan all right well i can i can guarantee you this if i had opposed if i at 53 years old had opposed down with ethan i can guarantee you i am in better shape than you are ethan <laughs> um but who the fuck am i to this guy like where the fuck did this come from i had no idea who this dude even was until then now here's the other thing is like ethan really i'm, I'm gonna read something here like the, uh, the, this was the only tweet i've ever like think uh, was ever aware of that ethan threw at anyone is that how is fleece okay so he's, he's coming out he was coming at michaela peterson who by the way has blocked me so i can't read you the full thing but he was like how is fleecing your father's fandom going a hundred dollars per month for the lion club teaching people that eating only meat cures all ailments must have been nice to be posting cute selfies from your father's social media accounts while he was nearly while he nearly died. I'm like, when I read that, I was like, maybe, maybe he actually watched, maybe he knows who I am and he's just bullshitting because that's what I was talking about really since November all the way up to now, even. So what did you say? He's proof that brainwashing works. Yeah, yeah. What are you afraid of, Ian? I'll be happy to 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 debate you. I, I won't I won't bite, right? Like what what so if it, whether it's fresh or it's not, it, you know, here's the reason. I, I want to explain to you why this dude is. I, you know, actually, before I do that, I have to show you this. This is really good. Now, I'm gonna put this on there real fast, just so people know what the here's here's your frame of reference and all of this. Now, this was from the H3 podcast, or this was from this is a, a little bit of correspondence since they already posted this. By the way, I didn't post this. This was already on their their podcast, the most recent podcast of H3. They put this up there, so I'm not selling anybody out. They've already done this. It's already been put out. Okay, this is, how do we know? <laughs> how do we know we won't bring someone else on? Else on like Crowder? You, you're really that worried about Stephen Crowder? We don't. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't have any contact with Steven Crowder. He doesn't even know my name, man. H3 Podcast, Fresh and Fit. How do you know we won't bring someone like Crowder on with Crowder? Um, who is he afraid of? I never promised Crowder. I wouldn't uh, tell him I'm uh, tell him I am promising. Uh, you guys have been critical of the Red Pill and Fresh and Fit slash Rolo are the biggest creators in the space. Well, at least thank you for acknowledging that. It will uh, be a great discussion and we'll get a lot of views instantly. I think that is the other side of the conversation. He says, okay, we'll think on it. Okay, no problem. I'll pass this on to Myron and Fresh tomorrow. Then Ethan comes out. Ethan wanted me to say that he's doing a hard pass on Rolo. Why? But why? Uh, uh, so just let us know if you're up for fresh and fit versus Ethan and Hassan. So, so that pretty much confirms everything that they were just talking about a minute ago. And my only question is, what are you afraid of? Why? I'll be happy to I'll fly down there on my own dime. You know, if you put me up, I'll go down there. Where are you at? LA, San Diego. I forget where he is. He said Southern California. I don't know exactly where. It's okay. I'm from Southern California. I'll be happy to go. To, I'll shit. I'll drive down there. <laughs> I'm going to Catalina while I'm out there too. I'm make make a make a weekend of it. What are you afraid of? No, you know what you're afraid of is because they want fresh and fit on there because they know fresh is not like fresh is not Rolla Tomasi. I love you, fresh. I really do. I do. But fresh is not me, and I love fresh. You know that. I talked about. If you saw my my most recent clips channel, I talk about like how Fresh talked about like owning a woman's soul, and I made a a, a specific point to talk about that when I was on my last uh, interview with uh, with Fresh and Fit, 
And I knew it was, I knew it was going to be fun. I knew it was going to be like sort of con- a little slightly controversial, I guess, but like fresh will say things. And he, I know where he's coming from. I tried to make this clear in that clip. I know where he's coming from. And he starts talking about like, Oh, owning a woman's soul when, when ABBA is on the show with him. And that's kind of one of the things that set off all that bullshit that happened in, in August. And so I wanted to sort of say, okay, I understand what you're saying, but it doesn't mean that everybody else is going to get it. And they're going to take that shit and they're going to run with it. They're looking for those viral moments. And that's exactly what a guy like Ethan, whatever the fuck his name is, uh, looks for. In fact, that's the new, as I was saying before, in fact, this is a great, fantastic dovetail right here. This is exactly what I was talking about when I said the perception is all that people care about. So when I was talking about DJ academics back in the day, back, you know, a few weeks ago, and I sort of backed up off of that. But when I was talking about that, that's what I was saying. You say, look for that viral moment, right? The problem I had was not necessarily with DJ academics. It's the fact that he took that, those clips and made his boys look like idiots for a minute and 30 seconds, which is eggs. And the reason why I drew attention to that is because that's exactly what Michaela Peterson did with me when my show came out or when she decided that she was going to put my show out because those clips came out simultaneously with when she published the full episode of that show. Now, what are you going to watch the one minute and 30 second clip that says, here's what happened on this show. Or are you going to go, Oh, you know what? You know, this sounds like bullshit to me. I think I'll watch the whole two hours. I've got, two hours to kill. Let's watch the whole thing. Why is it that people in this show, by the way, are going to say, Rolo, where's the time cues? I ain't got no time for a two hour and 50 minute video. It's going to be three. I don't have time for three hours video. Just give me the highlights clip. Well, guess what? That highlights clip is, is the fucking clip. That's why. So when Abba and Preach go at Fresh and Fit, what do they do? They pull that one little clip of, of, fre- of Fresh going, you know, I want to own a woman's soul You know, when it comes to genuine desire. Now, I try to explain that, but people don't have patience for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time to watch the Brittany Renner show with Fresh and Fit. Ain't nobody got time for flagrant. They just want the highlight clip. It's like fucking Sports Center, man. Just show me the highlights. Show me, show me the dunk, and then I'll move on to the next dunk. And I'll move on to the next field goal or touchdown or goal or whatever. Hopefully the freaking Golden Knights get into the playoffs. Yeah, Ethan. Well, well, so you know why Ethan doesn't want me on the show? It's because I ain't going to give you that fucking 30 seconds that you're looking for, which is why you want fucking fresh on there. Because the odds are that if I'm on there with Myron, and fresh is on there with Myron, you're probably not going to get that one minute, 30 second clip that you want to pull out so that you can make yourself look like a fucking hero and make us look like idiots. That's why, because ain't nobody got time for that. And that's the marketing plan. And it's exactly what I've been talking about this entire fucking show. <laughs> like I pulled it right in. That's awesome. Exactly what I was saying. It's curating that image, curating those pictures, curating those little snippets of video. Nobody's going to watch it too. Shit, no, barely anybody. How many people got now? I got 1,600 people. Thank you for watching. Thank you for saying. You know what? I really appreciate you for sticking around this entire thing, right? But you know what? As soon as this video is over and it goes into my archive, you know who? You know what the average watch time is going to be? 28 minutes, maybe. And even then, it's going to be because I put in like, chapter markers and you know here's what he talked about that you know and by the way i do that for every one of these actually i don't do it i have a guy eduardo thank you eduardo for being such a a trooper with me and i do pay him uh but i always do those clips not immediately because he actually has to watch the whole thing and clip these things up so please and i know god damn it just by me like saying this this is what's going to happen in the comments gonna be where's my time cues i ain't got time for this i'll guarantee you that's the first like within the first four comments once I hit stop and broadcast, that's what you're going to say, all right? Because ain't nobody got time for that. And that's why guys like Ethan get all bent out of shape and they try to yuck it up. No, you, the, the reason when you make fun of me and the reason you want to like, you know, be fucking middle school bullshit 
It's because you know I'd fucking wipe the floor with you. You know I would fucking like, you know, destroy you when it comes to like any any kind of, and, and even Myron will probably, I don't even have to be there really. Myron will probably wipe the floor with you. But the fact is that you still want fresh on there because the odds are the fresh is going to say own your soul and that's going to be the clip that you throw out. That's why. That's the new marketing plan. Somebody watches. <laughs> you know, you want to know why shorts are more popular. You know, if you go and you look at my shorts or <laughs> eat my shorts, you want to go and look at like uh, Rich Cooper shorts are great, man. You go and look at his short clips. They, he's like 75,000, 120,000 views because it's 45 seconds. People have time for that. But if you say, oh, the Michaela Peterson uh, interview between Rolo Tomasi and uh, Michaela is this, and I only have to spend 30 seconds to figure it out. Fuck yeah, I'm going to watch that. And that's what you're going to form your opinion based on whoever you like best. And it could be me or it could be her, right? I don't do shit like that. I'll put up, you know, what I think are like salient points in my shorts, but I don't like try to say, Oh, here's, I had such and such. I, I had this son of a bitch on my show and look at watch me own him in this 30 second clip right here. You got time for that, right? Yeah. Oh, good. Subscribe. Buy my gum road course. Buy do this, whatever. Buy my merch. <laughs> that's how it works. That's how we're, that's where we're at right now. And it works for girls who are trying to convince you that, you know, there's women on the front line down and, you know, down in the trenches you know, while they're doing TikTok videos and, and down, yeah, hey, hey, here come the Russians. <laughs> and it goes for Ethan as well. Like that's how, that's how we're marketing right now. What's the perception? Well, how do I curate that? How do I get, how do I get the most bang for the 30 seconds I have your attention? That's why you want fresh. That's why you don't want me on there because you're not looking for a logical, you're not looking to have your mind changed about anything. And what were you going to debate about anyways? Really? What are you going to debate? All it's going to be like when I watched flagrant flagrant two and I watched Myron on there, if you go and you, you don't, ain't nobody got time for that. But if you watch parts of flagrant two and you look at the, the video in there where like Akash is calling him a Neanderthal or some shit like that, or whatever it is, if you look at those little clips and then you compare those clips to like some of the little bits of the interview that Adam Sosnick did with the two girls that were there and fresh and fit were there. There ain't no viral clips right there because they were on their game because they weren't, they were in a neutral objective, you know, studio as opposed to we're going to really fucking dress these guys down. That's what they, that's what Akash and, and Andrew Schultz went into that interview thinking we're going to really fuck these guys up and we're going to find a 30 second clip and make everyone think that this is, this sums up the whole two and a half hour video. So, yeah, that's what you're trying to do, Ethan. And that's why you don't want me on the show. So you're welcome to come on here anytime you want to, you want to talk about it. Tell me what the subject is. I want to debate Rolo. I don't have, why are you so afraid of me? Really? Why are you afraid? Why? Are you, like, I'm, like why, do I, why am I even on your radar is what I want to know. It's like, I don't, like what, how the fuck do I know you? <laughs> you know, I, I, it's, it's always funny to me when I, when, when people that I've got like, not in my sphere, let's just say, like, come, come at me. And I'm like, who? 